morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining today's Bet Hawaii Bitsuing online Zoom service. My name is Stacey Bradshaw, and I am your MC today. Today's service order will be the Vandana Antisarana, Sutra Chanting Jusege, Dharma Message by Reverend Yuika Hasebe, Gata Ondoksang, and the Nembutsu. We will keep the Zoom room open for 10 minutes after the service for fellowship. Let, let us today start today's service by chanting the Vandana and Tisarana led by Dinbang Toyokazu Hagio. <laughs> Namo tasa vanavato arahato samasabhunasa Very much. Today's sutra chanting is Ju Sege. Please view the screen for the words. Show 
message will be given by Reverend Yuika Hasebe. Let us put our hands together in Gasho. If when I attain Buddhahood, the countless Buddhas throughout the world in the ten quarters do not all praise and say my name. May I not attain the supreme enlightenment. 
ナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツナモアミダブツ Thank you very much for joining today's、um, service. Today is our first Zoom live streaming service, and I am very happy that we will try something new together. Thank you very much for patiently waiting for Betlin to reopen again. We are all working hard for the reopening, and I hope to bring good news for you soon. How have you been spending your time in those past year and a half? Do you sometimes feel anxiety or loneliness? I did. I really miss you all. And then sometimes I felt so lonely and frustrated not meeting anyone or meeting with people with extra caution. I can't have or hold hands when the family c r y i n g at the funeral. I missed going out with my friends. Even though we can't lower our guard yet, but Hawaii's situation fortunately gets better. And I truly appreciate the all essential workers who work hard for us and encourage s us patiently. To protect ourselves by sanitizing hands, wearing the mask, and get vaccination. The passage I read beginning was quoted from Raja Sutra, which conveys Shakyamuni Buddha's teaching and his words, and the 17th vow among 48 vows. It said, If When I attain Buddhahood, the countless Buddhas throughout the world in the Ten Quarters do not all praise and say my name. May I not attain the supreme enlightenment? It is a great wish that the name of Amida Buddha, which means Namo Amida Butsu, Nen Butsu will powerfully heard all over the world. And I reach to every single one of us. It is said that one of the most important things for us Jodo Shinshu followers is to listen why Amida Buddha established the vow and what is the result of the vow, why Bodhisattva Dharmakala needed to establish the vow, and why he had to take long. Almost infinite time to complete the vows and become Amida Buddha. I would like briefly mention about the,、um, the Dharmakara. When Amida Buddha was a Bodhisattva Dharmakara, Dharmakara looked into an old land which over the, all over the Buddha、uh, created and selected only good and the best part. And then discard the all inferior part. And then Dharmakala established the 48 vows to save all beings. So it means include everybody without exception. That's the reason that Dharmakala established the vow. In the l a j a Sutra, state the vows are established for remove suffering and save all beings. All beings means us, each and every one of us. And it means me and it means you. So it means the vows are not saving someone else, but it is built to save me and to save you. But how the vow relates to us? Hmm. When I think about Amida Buddha's vow, my heart will fill, fill with something warm, 
and I am now age so-called middle age, and I still really think about my life. When I become 20 years old, one of the elderly lady who used to live in my you know, home temple, I mean home village, said to me, Yuika, Yuika, now you are 20 years old. And after you hit the age 20, the time starts flying really, really fast. I thought she was joking, but then now I feel she said it to me. I, I, I feel she said it to me yesterday, but it's already 20 years ago. So what she said was true. The time flies faster and faster, especially somehow I felt even the time flies faster this in the last year, year and a half. About two year and a half ago, my sister had a baby and I become an auntie. The baby now talk a lot and she called me auntie and, and auntie Yuika with pretty eyes and a smile. I am so happy to see her and talk to her because I love her so much. I often think about the day I had to be separated from this baby niece. Of course, the mother who is my sister and the father has more deep love, but eventually all of us has to leave one by one from this world. It may be good if I go before my baby niece, but there's a no guarantee she may go before me. The life flies fast and the death is not happening in order and it can be happen anytime or any age. What Shakamuni Buddha taught was true. Dokusho dokushi dokko dokurai. We born alone, die alone. We live alone and come alone. It is true. We live alone and has to leave this world alone. None of us leave this world together with someone. We have to carry whatever we have while we are living here. And when we leave this world, we have to leave everything behind. The money, status, friends and family, even my body and myself. Nothing we can rely on. And when the time comes, we have to leave everything behind. That is why Amida Buddha established the vows to save every one of us, to save me and to save you, because every one of us has to live from this world by oneself. Because Amida Buddha knows our suffering and sadness, the vows are made. It means no matter what, Amida Buddha is and will always heal with us and embracing us with its great compassion. When we look into our heart, what can you see? We all have a joy, anger, jealous, suffering and sadness in your heart, in our heart. How about you? When you knock your heart kong, 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 like this and then open it, and then what can you see? Maybe you can, can you knock your heart and then see what's inside? We have so much things in our heart, not only beautiful things, but we have various emotions and a feeling in it. We may be able to pretend to good to outside, but when we look deep into our heart, not only beauty in it, but we have all those emotions in it. That is human. That is us. It is like the, we all have a black one inside of us. 
one person illustrated as if he has a well inside of his heart. Please imagine you are standing inside of the well. Inside of the well, there are a lot of water and it is really, really dark. We try to look closely what's in it in the water, but we cannot really see anything. The water is dark. He said, is Amida Buddha like a rope to pull us out from the well? What do you think? I was thinking about it and I realized the rope can't save us if we can't grab the rope. Then I thought, well, how about the basket? If we put down the basket to the well, the person will be saved. No, people have to climb up to the basket and the basket can't save us if we can't climb up on the basket. If one wants to save the person inside of the well, the one has to go down to the well by him or herself and embrace the person in the well and they save the person. There is a well-known Jodo Shinshu minister and also professor and philosopher named Professor Akira Omine wrote in his book as such. We all have a world inside of us which nobody knows other than us. Or the world even we would never understand fully. We think we know ourselves well enough the human beings can't totally understand what lay down the bottom of our heart. Only Amida Buddha can know about it. The well or the black pond we have inside our heart is so deep and we are not even sure if it has the bottom. But Amida Buddha embraces us with the well or the black pond in it. That is the reason that Amida Buddha's life needs to be infinite, to embrace all of us, all existence itself, and to receive us as we are. Even we ourselves can't look into it, but Amida Buddha see it through and the still never leaves us alone in the dark pond and the Amida always embracing us. Amida Buddha never said us the only good, modest and honest person or a person with peaceful and calm heart are saved. Amida keeps calling us that please just come as you are. If you're sad, come with your tear. If you're in pain, come with your pain. Please, please allow me to save you. I am here with you now. I come here to embrace you. It is not that we ask Amida Buddha to save me, save us. But Amida Buddha asks us to be saved through the great compassion. That is how deep and vast the great compassion is. Living in Amida Buddha's wish and guided by the wisdom, it is to know and understand how precious existence we are to Amida Buddha to know the depth of the great compassion and wisdom. My saving, which means also your saving, is what Amida Buddha took infinite time. And then the most important thing for Amida Buddha, it requires countless, uncountable Buddha throughout the world to praise and say the name 
only to make sure it reaches us. I believe to understand my life and that your life is embraced by indescribable deep compassion is how we can live Buddha's wish. When you look into your heart and it, when you see your deep well or the black pond inside of you, when the pain overwhelm you and you can't say a word or when you can't sleep because of the fear, Amida Buddha knows them all and embraces us always. Amida knows the night you can't sleep because of the back pain, broken bones, or cancer treatment. We are not all by ourselves to endure the pain. But please remember, Amida Buddha is the one with us and they never leave us alone. Thank you very much for listening. Let us put our hands together in the show. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. Amanda. Thank you very much, Reverend Hasebe, for your very reflective Dharma message. We will now sing the Gatha Ondok Sang, followed by the Nembutsu. today's Sunday service. Thank you very much for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. The Zoom room will remain open for another 10 minutes. Please feel free to unmute yourself and enjoy the fellowship. Thank you.